Hello, hello, how are you? I am just gonna press live on all of my devices. This is so fun. Okay, so in case you missed last week, every Thursday at 12 o'clock Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time, I am doing a little live because I want to connect with you, get to know you better. I want to share what I'm going through in hopes that you don't feel alone and I can give you some tips if you're going through the same thing. And I want this to be a conversation just like you are literally sitting across from me <laughs> having a tea. This is why I call it Tea Time with Vanessa. So today I'm going to share with you what tea I'm going to make and then I'll quickly recap what we spoke about last week and then I'll tell you what's been on my mind over the last week and kind of go from there. So let's see. So today my tea is this amazing tea that I got from Hawaii. I actually get it shipped now to my home from Hawaii. It's called chocolate tea. And if you can see here, it's like the shells. Well, not like it is the shells of the cacao and then they make it into a tea. So I've been brewing it for a few minutes and then I'm just going to put it in. So you can see it's kind of dark. It smells heavenly. It is my favorite and it's not too chocolatey, but just has the most beautiful taste. I love tea. So if you like tea, let me know what your favorite teas are and we can have tea on our tea time. Um, but this one's from Manoa Chocolate, if you want to check it out. So hello. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you. Okay. So just quick recap. So last week I was talking all about goals and how when we look at our goals, our goals so often come from a place of lack. If we need more money, we need a relationship, we need to lose weight. But if you, if I were to ask you, if you already had everything you ever needed, you were completely safe, completely taken care of, what would your goals be then? Write your goals from a place of complete alignment, complete fulfillment, not lack and resistance. And so when I really this past weekend wrote out my goals of if I already had everything, what would my goals be? They wouldn't be, I need the seven figure business. I need to lose weight. I need more friends. They would be, I actually just want more love. I want more, I want more fun. I want more, I want more abundance. I want more connection, right? So I hope this question helps you to kind of reframe your goals and where you're coming from and also may show you where you have some resistance and where some things might be holding you back. Because if you're creating goals from that place and your action is from the place of resistance, it can take a lot longer. I truly believe, and this is why I'm also doing these lives and I want to get to know you guys better because I truly believe that we live in a world that glorifies the entrepreneur, the hustle, the grind, the up at 4 a.m. and working all day. And through my mentors and the people I'm surrounding myself with and my beliefs and desires, I want to change that. I want it to be more about how can we find our love? How can we find our joy? And through our joy, we find our light, we find peace. And in that place, when we're in that, what I like to call alignment, when we're in that place of complete joy, the things that we create from that place are so different. The energy that we give off in that place is so different because we, we shine, we give our light, we share our light with the world, and then other people can find our light and connect with us. And I personally want to create from that place and shine from that place and share from that place. So if you resonate with that, hop on board. <laughs> we are creating a new path, no more hustle. Let's find our joy and create from there. Because I believe that when we create from there, we can do less and have a far bigger impact, right? So for example, wouldn't you rather, instead of just like grinding all day, you know, putting out three, four TikToks a day and them getting 10 views, 200 views, whatever that is, wouldn't you rather be in alignment, have an idea for a video and then it go viral and then you grow your account so much faster. <laughs> and it's not just about the results. It's how we feel in the process and what we're putting out into the world. Because however you feel and what you create from is just magnified. So if you're writing your emails, if you are 
connecting with clients and you're all in your head about, I have to do this. That's not good vibes. It's not good energy that you're putting out in the world. What do you actually want to be magnified? So if you're thinking when you're doing things, oh, this is so fun. Like, look at all the people that I can connect with. I just want to share my light. I want to ignite the light within others. I mean, even just me saying that, and that's why I love doing these lives. Like it makes me feel good. It makes me feel amazing. So I want to create from that place. And it's just something to be really intentional of. And so over the last week, I have a free masterclass on Monday. It's like a level up embodiment masterclass. And whenever I decide to do these masterclasses and I pick a topic and I said, that's it. You know, last month I had a bunch of people emailing me saying, Vanessa, I need your help. I need to level up. I want to go into that next phase. And if you don't like the word level up and it kind of triggers you, that's okay. What I mean by level up is really just letting go of the old stuff that is keeping you stuck, keeping you in resistance, making you feel shitty, getting rid of the old stories, the old thoughts, the old patterns that you were taught that are not serving you, that you really are ready to grow out of so that you can feel lighter, <laughs> so that you can be and show up as the best version of yourself. So that's what I mean by level up, right? It sounds good. So I thought, okay, I got all these emails from people. I'm going to do a workshop on how to step up as the highest version of yourself and let go of the old crap. And it, whenever I decide this is my topic, I feel like the world just sends me all of these things. Like they send me all these, I don't like you to even call them tests, but they send me challenges and gifts so that I can create processes and get more in tune with myself. So I feel like when I declared this as the topic, the world forced me to level up and embody what I wanted to embody. And I also feel like that is such a gift because I truly believe that as a coach and speaker, and when I'm sharing all of these things, I have to walk the talk. I have to do what I'm saying. And it helps me to be, I am my biggest testimonial. And so I want to do everything that I'm sharing so that I know it works for me. And if it works for you, awesome. And if you want to try, great. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. So throughout the last few days and the last week when I've been building this embodiment and level up masterclass, it really over the weekend was really looking at my thoughts. So here's the tip. If you are ready to level up, Join my masterclass on Monday. It's free. <laughs> I'll put the link. But also, really look at your thoughts. Are you mostly thinking about your past? People that screwed you over. Times that you messed up. Are you thinking about all the times that things didn't go well, that you are trying to... Your mind is smart. It's wanting to keep you safe. So it may be going through all of those experiences as a self-preservation tool so that you don't experience it again, so that you can protect yourself from the future. But what we focus on expands. And when we're always thinking about the past and the stories of the past, we may be stuck in stories and interpretations of the past that are no longer serving us. And so over the past week, I've really been slowing down and thinking about thinking about my thoughts, paying attention to my thoughts. And realizing that a lot of my thoughts were still in the past. So my level up over the past week has been, no, we got this. It is healed. It is good. When I think of the past, when I think of past experiences, I'm really paying attention to the story and the meaning that I'm attaching to it. Sending myself love, sending that person love and realizing that the experience is healed and I can let it go. I can move on. I can move into my future. I can move into the present so are your thoughts about the past, the future, or present? And that will also indicate a lot of stress and anxiety and overwhelm that is coming up, depending on what you're thinking about. So I've been trying to be a lot more present, which is amazing. And when I think about the future, I really connect to the vision and the feeling. This is a little bit of like manifestation, but really it's just the feeling of my highest self. All that I do when I'm thinking, I want to, if what you think about expands and what you think about creates your future and you become what you think about, don't you want those things to be amazing things? So I'm 
really intentionally thinking about how do I want to feel? What does my highest self feel like? Who is my highest self? What does she want to be? How does she want to show up? And this so beautifully connects to what we spoke about last week about the goals and how I want to show up and what my goals really are. Because my highest self, she is about peace. She is about love. She's about flow. She is about listening to her body, letting go of things that are no longer serving her and letting go of the past, not attaching meanings and stories to everything and ruminating on them (laughs) over and over. She is just about being and being the most beautiful version of herself so that she feels good, number one. And when she feels good, she can project that light and love outwards to others and make a greater impact in the world. So I didn't even drink my tea, but I think it was also, I pulled out every day. I pull out a different mug. They all have different sayings. And today it was dreamer, which I think connects really well to that last part I talked about of just dreaming and dreaming of what my highest self feels like and stepping into her every single day. And so I encourage you even every morning, connect to your highest self. What does he, she, what is, what does that person feel like? And how can you be that every day? How can you step into that every day? And then asking yourself, well, what are my goals? And they should align. And then you might want to ask yourself, what do I need to let go of? Because you got to let go of things to step into the new. You cannot step into this new version of yourself, this fully embodied, leveled up person when you're still hanging on to your past stuff. So it's time to let it go, rewire your brain, (laughs) and just don't let it keep you stuck and in resistance because I see you. You are made for so much more, but more peace, more love, more freedom, more joy. I want you to feel that. So come with me on this journey. Um, But that is all for tea time today. I'm going to take a sip so that I actually can call it tea time and it will be tea time. Oh, this is my favorite. It's so good. Okay, so this again is the tea I used today. Manoa chocolate from the shells of the cacao. And I'm just sending you so much love on this day. Thank you for spending the last 10 minutes with me. And I hope you join me on Monday too for my free masterclass. I'll put the link. It's actually at launchyourpower.com slash level up masterclass. Launchyourpower.com slash level up masterclass. And I will see you Monday. I cannot wait. And I will send out the replay to everyone who registers. And if you can't make it, no problem. So if you if I don't see you Monday, I will see you next Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time for my next live tea chat with Vanessa, where I'll just share how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. And I hope you guys have a great weekend this weekend. I am really with this. I'm in Toronto, Canada right now, and the weather is spectacular. Our winters last, it feels like forever, Uh, but the weather is finally so beautiful. So I am just really called to have some fun and get outside and also clean and organize the house. I'm obsessed with organizing the house. I watch too much home edit and I just love when things have a place. So I'll post more pictures on Instagram if you want to see it. Today is the garage um, and the basement, but I'm sending you so much love. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being on my journey with me. And I hope that me sharing my journey helps you. And I love doing this journey with you. So together we can grow together. (laughs) Sending you so much love. Have a great day. Bye.